Hello everyone, Sarah with sarahpicaro.com. Today's video is on the topic of who you are. Who you are is not what you eat. You are not what you eat. And that's such a funny phrase because you are what you eat. So are you saying that you're a bagel? Are you saying that you're a Dorito? Are you saying that you're a piece of licorice? You're not a bagel. You're not a Dorito. You're not a piece of licorice. You are not what you eat. You are what you believe. <laughs> it all comes down to that. And, and this comes up with, with people that I work with who still feel that they're not enough, even though logically and consciously they understand I survived it. I made it through all of the things that I, at one point in time, thought that I wouldn't make it through, thought were going to be the end of me. Here I am. I've made it through those things. I have survived, but there's still a part of me that doesn't feel alive. There's still a part of me that feels dead inside. And that's because you are not what you eat. You are what you believe. And internally, unconsciously, your beliefs have shifted, have changed, have transformed to believe that you're not enough of whatever it is that you desire to be enough in. You're not pretty enough. You're not smart enough. You're not capable enough. You're not intelligent enough. You're not worthy enough and you're not deserving enough. So, so many of us are living with desires, things that we want to see manifest, things that we want to create, to be a part of, to go out and do, yet we feel restricted. We feel blocked. We feel unable to go do those things. We feel unable to make the connections that we need to make, even though that thing that we want may literally be right in front of us. It may be sitting in our lap and we think, I can't have that. There may be an opportunity for you to do what you want to do. And you think, I can't do that. That's not food. That's a belief because you are not what you eat. You are what you believe. If you believe I can't do that, or if you believe who am I to have that, and you imagine that someone who could do that or have that would be happy, would be successful, would be motivated, would be driven, would be in love, would be, would be rich, would be okay. Whatever the story is, that's going on in your mind. It's going on because of the unconscious beliefs that you have. So you are not what you eat, you are what you believe. If you have a belief that you don't deserve what you desire, you're never going to see your desires become your reality. And so you're sitting there just living a mediocre life or an okay life or a, a woe is me kind of life, a victim mentality kind of life because of the truth that you are what you believe. And not just saying and repeating affirmations and mantras, those are helpful and those can really be beneficial to be on repeat on your conscious mind. But if internally and unconsciously you believe that you're not because of something that happened to you in your past, because of the way that your mother treated you, your father treated you, or your father wasn't there to treat you, or your mother wasn't there to treat you, or the things that were said about you to you when you were growing up, especially between ages zero to seven, those really primitive and formative years and ages and your unconscious mind is still connected, still holding on to that belief and hasn't quote unquote, let it go. And you're struggling and you're trying to figure out, well, how do I let this go? Because I want to believe that I can do the things that I want to do. I want to believe that I can connect with people and feel safe to open myself up and not close myself off out of fear that I'm going to get hurt and, and experience even more pain, pain of rejection, pain of abandonment. And I, I don't, I don't know how to get through that or past that. It's because there's an internal emotional block, a block that is within unconsciously. So you can do all the things, you can eat all the right things, you can eat organic and grass fed and, and the most nutrient dense rich foods. But the truth is you're not what you eat. Is that positive? Is that a benefit? Absolutely. Of course it is. But you can do all those things. And if you're doing all those things with the belief that you're not good enough, that you're not capable enough, that you're not worthy enough, that you don't deserve the things that your heart and soul longs for and desires, there's always going to be an energetic mismatch. And you're always going to default to your unconscious programming. So you can go do, quote unquote, do all the right things. But if your state of being, if your internal unconscious state of being is not in alignment with the things that you're doing, 
it's going to go back to the default, the default internal unconscious programming. So you can seem to be doing all of the right things, but not getting the results, not, not really allowing that impact of all the things that you're doing to become a part of your being and a part of your experience. And this is where most people go wrong is because they've consciously put effort in to try to do the right things, but that's a very masculine, very energy, very masculine energy. And, and it's a good, it's a very needed energy, but if it's not in alignment with the more receiving feminine energy of the unconscious beliefs that you are worthy, you are whole, you are complete, you are deserving, there's going to be a mismatch. You're going to be out of alignment and you're going to experience feelings of feeling stuck frustrated, resentment, wanting to, to throw everything away, wanting to just completely give up. And that's going to further perpetuate that unconscious belief that says that you're unworthy and undeserving of the thing that you're putting so much energy and so much effort into doing. And this is why my private clients come to me because they've tried all the things and they're doing all the right things and they've come so far and they've done so much yet they're still stuck and they feel this internal wall, this internal battle that is still going on and they're trying to flip the script they're trying to to just capture their thoughts and flip it to something more positive but there's an energetic feeling and emotion because of the unconscious belief that makes that really difficult it makes it feel like there's more to do and they've got to focus on doing that and all their time energy awareness is going to that they're not able to do the things they really desire so it becomes this this back and forth ping pong game in their mind that leads to just feeling stuck in all areas of life and in all relationships and all forms relationships that they have with friends relationships that they have with family most importantly and significantly the relationship that they have with themselves and there's all these things that they desire but they seem so far away it seems like they're never going to get there because of all the things they're going to have to do and navigate through and go through to actually have that experience be part of their reality. So you're not what you eat. You are what you believe <laughs> and not just consciously, but internally and unconsciously. So when you're ready to transform, shift and reprogram, rewire the unconscious beliefs that you have about yourself so that all of the things that you're doing are an equal and energetic match for the things that you believe and really open up, allowing yourself to receive all of the things that your heart desires. would love to connect with you. You can find out more at sarahpicaro.com. And until then, I'm sending you all the love. Bye for now.